The state of R&B. Yep. You're now the executive producer, VP, LVR Ranch. Yeah. Which is uh, known now as one of the top relevant labels that definitely um, is defined in R&B, yeah. Summer Walker Black. Yeah. Um, Alex Vaughn, Alex Vaughn, who yeah. we've had on this show. Yeah. Um, talk about the state of R&B and the vision of Brian Michael Cox today, well, especially with L LVRN. Well, the, the state of R&B to me, I feel like R&B is in a space where it's going to get shaken up, right? Mm. It's a lot of really, really talented artists coming up or who, who, who are like really trying to shake the status quo. So like you have an artist like Summer Walker who um, plays all these instruments. She's a super talented songwriter. She's a talented artist. She's talking directly to, you know, she has a direct message to her, you know what I mean? Audience and they're eating it up, you know what I mean? She knows exactly where she's going as an artist. Mm. Um, you have an artist like um, Coco Jones shaking up R&B with a record like I See You, which is really like a throwback feeling record. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No fats, no fillers, no no trend, no trendy shit. That record's just an R&B record. Mm. And it's killing the charts, mm. right? Um, um, I just think I, th I just think it's going really, to really be a shakeup. Yeah. There's a lot of really, really dope artists coming up mm. who can sing, you can write, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they want to do R&B. They don't want to do trendy shit no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They want to talk the R&B shit. They want to do real R&B. And I think that that is going to be, I think we're going to see that really, really uh, grow even more in the next six to 12 months. Okay. With releases, you know, people coming out. Um, my vision right now is um, aging gracefully. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I have an immense amount of respect for the youth. Okay. Um, because that's where the culture is created, yeah. right? Um, and I think that we should, uh, I'm, I'm in a space where I'm in that mentoring. I've always been that, right? But I feel like now it's even more important. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So young producers like, uh, we were produced named 300 who signed to LVRN who's incredible he's 18 years old 19 years old nice yeah and just an incredible young creative you know mm. I have a producer named Magic Jordan who's an incredible creative you know young really giving um, giving young creatives my knowledge but also understanding where they're coming from and and knowing that their point of view is extremely valid you can't be in a space where you know, we're shitting on the youth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I, I, I like to see myself uh, as like a coach. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and taking notes from like people like the great Rick Rubin and, ah. you know, ah. taking taking those kind of like figuring, like ascending to that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's my vision. Trend set up. Trend set up. Oh, 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 oh,